Welcome to World in Two Minutes. These are your headlines. The Syrian Observatory for Human Rights says Daesh has kidnapped at least 400 civilians. It happened in a city in eastern Syria that has been held by the regime. Syrian state media reported that Daesh killed at least 300 people in Deir Ezzor, but didn't mention any kidnappings. Daesh has besieged the province since March. The UN says that more than a million people in Syria are under siege and at risk of starvation. Most of these people are besieged by the Syrian regime. Democratic Republic of Congo says it plans to prosecute Germain Katanga. In 2014, the International Criminal Court sentenced the former militia leader to 14 years for war crimes. Katanga was convicted of arming the militia that attacked a village in 2003. His sentence was reduced to two years because he expressed remorse. He had been scheduled to be released from prison on Monday. Prosecutors say one of the cases they're investigating is Katanga's role in the killing of nine U.S. peacekeepers. Brent crude has fallen to below $28 a barrel. It happened just two hours after Western sanctions against Iran over its nuclear program were lifted. Iran has the fourth biggest oil reserve in the world. Analysts say this will only increase the global oversupply of oil. Meanwhile, Russia's finance minister says the drop in prices will hurt the Russian economy even more. He says the country's budget is short by about $38.6 billion. The UN says that 14 million South Africans won't have enough food due to drought. 11 people have died from heat stroke in the last week. Temperatures have often exceeded 45 degrees and are expected to go on for at least two months. Meteorologists say last year was the country's hottest since it began keeping record in 1904. This year's El Nino weather pattern has made the situation worse. Thanks for watching TRTWorld.com, Istanbul.